What a brilliant movie. Thanks. Um, I love this. It, was, it just took me in straight away from the moment it opened. But for you, we have to go back to the start. I mean, Han Solo, I mean, everybody. It's yeah. the role of a lifetime. So yeah. what was the audition process like? Do you know what I mean? Because I think yeah. you beat 3,000 people or something to get this role? Something like that. Um, I auditioned. I was the first person to audition, actually. Uh, and I auditioned for about six months. I auditioned six times. The third audition I went and did on the Millennium Falcon with Chewie, which was pretty awesome. That's a win, whether you get the role or not, nearly. I That's right. Get the role, but. Yeah, it's better to get the part. <laughs> Uh, but uh, no, it was it was great. And then you know, I I just loved the the take they had on the character, the particular way they they had planned on doing it. Okay, I assume a big thing with this though, once you know you have the part, is to keep it a secret. Like, yes. Like, is that, was that tough? Or do they like? Oh, they, yeah. like do you get a contract straight away saying you cannot say anything? Absolutely. I mean, you know that that's a part of it, you know. And so I had the role. I think I got the role in March. We announced that I had the role in July. Okay. So it was March, April, May, June of secrecy and then sometime in like May somebody it went online that I had the role and so people are coming up to me in restaurants saying congratulations and I had to pretend I didn't know what they were oh, talking about. you still about. can't see. I still can't admit. say it. It was a leaked thing so it wasn't oh, the official release see. yet. That's a nightmare. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's not exactly a nightmare. It's still fun. <laughs> yeah. okay. um, you mentioned the Millennium Falcon. So yes. What is, obviously, you got to go in it again about the audition. Yeah. So, what is that like? I believe that it's a proper setup. It's not like you're just looking at That's a right. green yeah. screen. Well, with this one, there's a set that it's really, you walk up the ramp and it takes you all through the whole ship. And it's such a cool ship. It's so fun to get on it. It's so fun to kind of experience it for the first time. And then the, there's kind of this secondary thrill that you, you know, have been shooting on it for two months and you realize, oh, I know where the buttons are and I know the yoke and it kind of feels like your own ship. Yeah, and um, obviously you've gone viral this week for another reason with Harrison Ford coming behind oh, yeah. your interview. You're probably nervous in interviews now. Who's going to surprise you? <laughs> that's um, right. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, well, I wasn't, but now that you said that, that's, that's right. Who's going to be um, next? But he gave you so much praise. He I did, noticed yeah. in that clip. So was that yeah. was, that must be a good thing to, for Harrison it's Ford. It's the greatest. I mean, it, it means the world to me, and I think it means the world to everybody else that his that he loves the movie. He's seen it and he loves it, and that's awesome. That's so cool. It is really awesome. Did you grow up loving Star Wars then? Like, yeah. as, was it a dream role? Sure, I had sense. all the toys, and I pretended to be Luke and Han and everybody, and you know, I had all the I had a uh, lightsaber and. Well, okay, yeah. like everybody, I suppose. Yeah. So then George Lucas, I believe he dropped back by the set. You went yeah. to go to the Skywalker Ranch recently. That's right, yeah. It's all going on. Is that kind of a bit of a thrill And what's George oh, like? Absolutely. Was he nice to you? He was really nice. He also really likes the film, and he was very kind of supportive. And um, just sitting down with him is really cool because we all sort of owe him this incredible debt of gratitude because really this is the sandbox that we're playing in he created like he made up these characters he made up this world he he you know did such an incredible thing and it's amazing that it's been able to carry on for so long absolutely and is there any pressure for you even say the first day on set is there, sure. is there, is there any weight on your shoulder going yeah this is amazing and i really worked hard and deserve to be here but yeah better not mess this up well absolutely <laughs> yeah i mean and that's also you know the kind of feeling that you have on every movie it's more heightened in this one because the sort of noise of the a a world outside of it. Usually you're working on a part, no one, you know, if I say, oh, I'm doing, I'm playing John, and the, nobody knows who that is. Yeah. So there's more noise, but in a way it's the same pressure as on any film, which is you want to do a good job. Yes. And, uh, and therefore the ways to m get your way through it are the same that I've been employing for, you know, a long time. Okay, and um, Woody Harrelson, who I'm talking to today, uh, yeah, he's, and I love him. So, what, yeah. if you were to tell me who, what was he like to work with? Was he one of your favorites? He's awesome, absolutely. He is so much fun. He's a great actor. He is um, just uh, wonderful to be around. We had a great snowball fight with him and Chewbacca on the top of this mountain in the Dolomites. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. FM 104, Dublin's hit music station.